Hello, hello, and welcome to what will be the first of four Magic the Gathering March of the Machine unboxing videos. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. I shouldn't word it that way. Uh, because I do not have four collector boxes of March of the Machine. Don't be silly, that would be ludicrous. But what I am going to do, I am going to split this one box into four videos because, uh, well, if you are unfamiliar with Magic the Gathering, uh, collector boosters are very expensive. This one box would probably be about as much as like four or five boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I thought, you know what? I have done like triple pack openings of Magic before anyway, and those round out a pretty nice episode. So instead of opening all of these at once, I am going to spread it out over about a month's worth of videos. Well, they won't all be in order like that, but it'll be four videos for 12 packs. So, three packs per video. The rest of them go off to the side for later. So, uh, March of the Machine. This is the newest set. And there's, there's a lot of crazy stuff in this set. Like, just weird ideas, weird cards. Uh, but cool ideas and cool cards nonetheless, like this 1-1 one, one Kraken token. Oh yes, the Segovian Kraken, which you will see the, uh, the legs and feet of the uh, normal-sized Phyrexian human character behind them. Yes, everything on Segovia is tiny, which is why this is a 1-1 one, one with Trample. But uh, we're, we're not here to look at the uh, at the tokens, not only them anyway. Uh, we also have this Furnace Host Charger here. All right, Expedition Lookout. And an island. Okay, well, it's got to be basic lands, huh? Unseal the Necropolis. And Thrashing Frontliner Lithomantic Barrage. Ah, into the Uncommons. This spell can't be countered. Hmm. And Blight Reaper Thalid. Ah, so once again, uh, they, they like doing these uh, in modern times. Got a transforming card. Very cool. And naturally, the full art foil basic lands. Uh, these I am definitely after. I hope that I end up opening the complete set. Uh, we also have a Dusk Legion Duelist right here as a foil rare. And... Jeru and Hazaret as a sort of display background showcase non-foil rare. So they took all of the random showcase backgrounds from a whole bunch of different sets and printed them all again on cards that are from uh, the part of the multiverse where those sets would have taken place. Uh, we also have Brimaz, the Blight of Oreskos here, which is a, a Commander Mythic Rare. All right, all right. And Jury Master of the Review is a uh, showcase foil. Okay. And oh, this is a this is a showcase etched foil. Yeah, Agar the Freezing Flame. All right, an uncommon etched foil. Oh, it's not showcase. Never mind. But it is an etched foil though. And Deep Root Wayfinder is our extended art foil rare. Deals combat damage to a player or battle. Surveil one, return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh, okay, I mean, that's not bad for two mana. Uh, battles, there weren't any battles in this pack, but maybe we'll see some. And, uh, oh, this this is the this is the new kind of foil, I guess. Oh, always something new, huh? Uh, Ayara, the first of Lockthwain. If you have been watching my uh, Throne of Eldraine videos, I'm pretty sure I opened this card in Throne of Eldraine, but this is the new fancy version with a new fancy kind of foil. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, this is, yeah, like brand new. They've never made cards like this before, so cool to see them. I wonder if there's one in every, uh, in every pack and a treasure to go with this Kraken. Okay, pack number one was a uh, wild one, of course. I feel like these are all going to be pretty wild, though. We've got a Phyrexian token, 0-0 zero, zero Phyrexian. Okay, Kithkin Billy Rider, oh, riding a goat. Double strike, that's kind of adorable. Okay, a uh, scroll shift here. An instant, 
Dismal Backwater. Oh, they've reprinted the comes into play tapped lifelands again. They seem to like those. Skittering Surveyor. Oh, this is a reprint too. It's kind of cool. It looks for a basic land. Uh, Eyes of Gitaxius. All right. And Elspeth's Smite. A uh, big uh, story moment right here. Elspeth smiting down Elish Norn. Ah, here's a battle. This is what I was talking about. So, uh, battles, they, they come into play. They're not enchantments or artifacts. They are a new kind of card. And they come in with these counters. And uh, what you have to do is attack your own battle that you charge an opponent with protecting. And if you can destroy your own battle, and then it'll flip into whatever's on the other side, and you get this. Well, in this case, it is a Truga Cliff Charger. It's a weird mechanic, but kind of cool. There are some nifty battles. We've got this island here. Another full art basic. And Hoarding Broodlord is a Convoke, a Dragon. Okay, okay. Kind of neat. Bloated Processor. Sacrifice another Phyrexian. Put a 1-1 counter on it. All right. And then this right here is Mist Meadow Vanisher. Oh, okay, this is the commander card. Comes tapped, exiled, non-land, non-token, permanent, return it, uh, beginning of the next end step. Okay. It does stuff. <laughs> Yargle! Yargle! They made a fancy version of Yargle? Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I uh, didn't look at every card in this set. A fancy foil showcase Yargle, 9-3 for 5, no ability, frog spirit, perfect. That is perfect for every deck. And, uh, oh, hey, this is, uh, this is actually kind of a cool one. Finn the Fang Bearer with the Halo Foil, I think they call it. Yeah, weird, like, Death Touch Matters card. Uh, with incredible artwork, these showcase cards have all kinds of different styles to them. And... Roxa and Qnoros is a, well, a foil fancy mythic rare card. So what they did with, uh, with this set, they made a bunch of these, like, team-up cards with various different important characters from the story, because they're teaming up to take out the Phyrexians, right? So we've got two characters on one card and a whole bunch of text on it. <laughs> Karuga the Macro Sage! Oh boy! Okay. Oh, glad I got this one. Actually, I like Karuga quite a bit. Uh, they reprinted all the companions with the proper rules text because, of course, when they made companions the first time, oh, they were overpowered with how that mechanic used to work. But here we've got a borderless foil Karuga. Oh, I really, really want to make a deck with the dinosaur hippo. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, and then here we've got this uh, incubator token. Uh, that actually turns into a Phyrexian. Ooh, right, yeah. So this is the first time they've done this. Tokens that transform. Huh? How about that? Always finding new ways to do stuff. Yeah, see, good thing I'm not opening all 12 packs in this one video, huh? Because uh, we'd be here all day. Ooh, look at this. Ren and Realm Breaker, the emblem in foil, which is kind of cool. Like some foil emblems, uh, rugged highlands here, okay. Negate, uh, yes, uh, I guess Ajani did get better after all. I opened so many Ajani's in whatever set that was. It wasn't that long ago and I can't remember. Uh, Golden Scale Aeronaut. Could be because they released so many, pa uh, so many different sets now. Uh, Halo Hopper, Confoke, look at this little frog, wonderful. Uh, blighted Burgeoning, Change the Equation at Uncommon. And oh, we've got another battle, what is this? Invasion of Moag, uh, which transforms into the Bloom Wielder Dryads. Ward 2, at the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. Huh, okay. I uh, got, a, got a Plains here that appears to be... Where is this? Ikoria, maybe? It's got the crystals? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, and another battle, a rare one this time. Invasion of Arcavios. Okay, uh, and what does it turn into? Why, it turns into Invocation of the Founders. Okay, well, that's a rare. And then here we have the, the new Heliod, the transforming one. 
Uh, because everything's got to transform, right? Turns into Heliod, the Warped Eclipse. Kind of cool, though. Uh, a Blight Titan, that's the, uh, the Commander card. Now, what does it do? Enters or attacks, mill two cards, then incubate X. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And another, another Finn the Fang Bearer. Oh, cool. Well, now we've got the Halo Foil and the Normal Foil version. And what, mm, what is this? This is Quendi, the Pride of Femeref? Femeref? Creatures you control with first strike have double strike. Oh, this, this is a reprint. This card already exists. Oh yeah, of course it is. It has the, has that set symbol. Cool. In, uh, in etched foil. And, ooh, look at this. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. Uh, Kazla the Broken Halo. Um, not that I plan on using it. It cares about, what, Convoke? Yeah, draw cards and stuff and has a lot of abilities. Uh, but I do collect foil angels, and this happens to be a foil angel. Uh, from the commander set, though, is this maybe the only way to get this in foil? Or in extended art foil? Huh. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is worth anything, but it's really cool. But this, I feel like, might actually be worth something. This is like a fancy version of Scytherix the Blight Dragon. Wow, I'm, I'm like, opening more cards that aren't even from this set than cards that are in this set. What the heck? Uh, yeah, th this is a mythic... Like, Scythrix was from, like, Scars of Mirrodin or something. Like, this is... This was a card from when I started playing Magic. But, uh, yeah, it has flying and infect, and you can give it haste and regenerate it. It's a... It's a pretty nasty dragon. Uh, now with the Phyrexian keyword, since they've added it, I guess that's why they chose it to reprint. Uh, and it's just an iconic card that they can give this... This weird and really cool black and white Phyrexian artwork to this is an incredible card wow okay okay not uh yeah not gonna whine about that one huh and a warrior token over this creature and at least one other creature token attack but a one one counter on this creature huh i wonder what makes this interesting well uh there we go that was three packs of march of the machine In just a second uh we're gonna need a bit of a recap after this one Okay, so let's take a look at the highlights, shall we? Uh, starting off with the rares that are actually from this set, <laughs> not from all the other random sets. We've got Jeru and Hazaret, we've got Heliod, got the Bloated Processor, and then into the, uh, the co Collector, no, Commander sets, Blight Titan, yes, Mist Meadow Vanisher and Brimaz. And then we've, I mean, this one's only an uncommon, but you know what, it's the fancy Halo foil version, so I, uh, I figured we could stick it in at the end here. Got Finn and Ayara, the first of Lockthwain. This is a really cool card. Glad I got this one. Uh, and Karuga the Macro Sage. Again, glad I got this one. Uh, we've got one foil rare battle, this invasion. The Hoarding Broodlord here. And the Dusk Legion Duelist. And then Deep Root, Wayfinder, Croxa, and Cunoros, which is a mythic rare. And Kazla, the Broken Halo, which is a mythic rare. And Scythrix, the Blight Dragon, which is another mythic rare. Out of three packs, we got three very fancy mythic rares. Yeah, this has, uh, this has been a pretty good opening, I think. But this is, unfortunately, the end of it. So I do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I hope that you'll join me again next time for whatever it is I might be opening next. Till then, ta-ta. And... Okay, this is un unbelievable. What the heck am I looking at? Elemental Hero Stratos. Uh, and... Oh, okay. That is quite something. Divine Dragon is pretty sweet. But I'm done. I'm done. Done.